or the CD case? We'll do the CD case. Okay. okay. There you go. Ezra and Rebecca Snyder were surprised by the generosity. Their care package included all the essentials for Christmas dinner. Green beans, carrots, apples, bread rolls, eggs, butter, milk, oranges, dessert, wow. coffee, and miscellaneous candy. Awesome, huh? That is awesome. This hasn't been the best year for the Snyders. Army men, too, but I don't know if he'll probably Yeah, he's probably too little. And yeah. they really appreciate the holiday boost. Our doll, Barbie doll. I'm just very grateful that there's a program like this to help families in need. Give us the opportunity to have a good Christmas for our children and, you know, it's been tough, so, you know, just dealing with uh, day by day, you know, and it's nice that there's a program out here that can help out people, you know, that are in need, definitely during the holidays. Major Rick Peacock is the Croc Center's executive director. The Salvation Army converted the center's 15,000 square foot indoor skate park into the toy and gift event. They'll walk out with uh, about three to four toys per child, and then we also give them a family gift, like a game or something like that. And then they'll also receive like a food basket full of food and uh, usually either a turkey or a gift card to get a turkey. Peacock says the Salvation Army event is designed to share the spirit of giving during the giving season. I've been doing something along these lines, a meal or food boxes or toys for a long time. And we do it because there's families out there who, if we don't do it, there's kids are going to wake up on Christmas morning and think maybe that, uh, you know, in our culture that Santa didn't come. Maybe they'll think they're on the naughty list. The toys and food being passed out were either donated or bought from donations. Eric Anderson, KPBS News. Bye, Merry Christmas. Definitely, thank you.